The LINS Data Service provides free access to over 40 authoritative land and seabed data sets via an easy-to-use website. These include topographic, hydrographic, geodetic, cadastral and title, electoral, place names and aerial imagery data. The panel on the left is where you search for and investigate data layers you want to download. You can scroll, search or browse for data. Simply scroll through the panel to reveal thumbnails including featured, most popular, latest and categories. If you are searching for data or maps, type the search words into the search box to the right of the LINS logo in the top left of the home page. This searches for your keywords in the layer title and has site-wide search suggestions. To search for an address or place, cursor over the Find Address or Place search box situated in the top left corner of the map. This also has site-wide search suggestions. Clicking on the Browse Data button in the left-hand navigation will present four categories organised by data type, category, group or region. When you click on a category, subcategories will appear underneath each heading. Clicking on a subcategory will reveal the layers stored under each label. On the right-hand side of the screen is a map of New Zealand. Any geospatial data layers that you select for download are displayed in this map, so you can see the data within a geographical context. You can also expand or remove the left-hand list or map as it suits you. You can add a layer to your map by clicking the orange plus button under the layer title. The layer is now displayed on the map. This button has now changed to a red remove button which you can use to delete the layer from your map. Selected items is like a shopping cart of data you want to download. Layers that you select for download appear under the selected item icon. Here you can keep track of the layers you've chosen, remove layers, toggle them on and off, reorder the display of layers on the map and change the transparency of your map layers. Cropping layers allows you to limit the geographical extent of the data you're downloading to a specific area you're interested in. Simply go to the area on the map you want to crop and drag a box covering the area you're interested in. You have now defined the desired area you want the data crop to. To remove the crop area, click on the Crop button again. The second tab on the Crop window allows you to perform a region crop. The Crop by Region tool enables you to clip and download any data set by a geographical area by either Regional Council or Territorial Authority Boundary, Topo 50, or TOPO 250 map sheets. Simply choose a region type, then a region from the drop-down menu. You will then automatically zoom to that region on the map, and a border is drawn around your chosen region to show you the area you've selected. Selecting the X button removes all of the layers you have selected. When you select a data layer you're interested in, you're taken to the About tab for that layer. This About tab provides a general description of the layer as well as information on when it was last updated, the type of data, the number of features and the relevant license. You can also view the Metadata, Attribute Data, History, Services or Comments tab. Metadata is a set of structured facts which will improve the discovery, transfer and reuse of the data. The Data Table tab allows you to view the actual data of a layer in its raw tabular form. This feature is only available for vector data. You can use the Search in Data tool to search, find and zoom into the map for one-off specific records within a layer. The Tiles Table tab, only available on raster layers, gives you the ability to download individual map sheets instead of downloading the whole layer. For example, on the New Zealand mainland TOPO 50 map layer. The History tab shows you all revisions that have been made to the layer and the changes that have occurred between those revisions. If the layer supports change sets, you will see change statistics for the number of features or row additions, modifications and deletions. The Services tab provides you with a unique API, WFS and WMS URLs for the chosen data layer. This allows software and web applications to directly query and access data and metadata, automatically pulling the most recent LDS data into your system when you need it. Use the Comments tab to provide feedback on a specific layer. While anyone can browse data and add layers to a map, 
you will need to register as an LDS user before you can download any map layers. Registering is simple and free. Enter a few personal details and accept our terms and conditions and you're done. Once you've registered, you can sign into LDS by entering your username, email address and password you provided when you registered. Once signed in, you can extract data via file download, courier delivery, web services or change set services. File download is the simplest way to extract data from LDS. To download a layer, click on the download or order button. A pop-up window will appear. Here you can select the format and projection you wish to receive the data in. You'll also get an indication of the size of your download. A file size limit of 3 GB applies to downloads. So if your download is larger than 3 GB, the delivery method will automatically default to courier delivery and the download button will be deactivated. Click the Accept Terms and Create Download button and a pop-up window will appear when your download is ready. Click on the green button to download the zip containing everything you need to start using the data. It normally takes a minute or two for the system to create your download file. However, the larger the size of the data, the longer it'll take. Remember, you will need some sort of GIS software or other software to visualize your data download. Don't forget, the majority of data layers in LDS are provided under a New Zealand Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 by license. This means you can use, reuse and share the data as much as you like in any service, product or application. Just make sure you credit LINS. There are a couple of exceptions to this open licensing. See the LINS website for more info on this. If you have any questions, have found a problem or want to make a suggestion about the LINS data service, simply email or follow us on Twitter for regular LDS news and updates.